Now, Jesus told them, Luke 24, 49, Behold, I send a promise of my Father upon you. But you go up to Jerusalem and wait until. What was the promise of the Father? Joel 2, 28, well, we find out he's going to pour out the Spirit. Now, Isaiah 28, 19, how there be stammering lips and other tongues and all these things. They went up there, and as we went through it, maybe one said, well, I believe we waited long enough. Let's just accept it by faith. That's good Baptist doctrine, but it didn't work with them. Yeah. So then the first thing you know, it had to become a reality. Yeah. And they waited on their ministry for the word to be vindicated. And when you come to seek the Holy Spirit, you do the same. Amen. Yes, you can't accept it by faith. You have to accept Christ by faith. That's exactly right. And you accept the Holy Spirit by faith. But then let the Holy Spirit come and give the circumcision Amen. as a witness that he's accepted your faith, you see. And see, Abraham believed God. It was imputed to him for righteousness. But God gave him the sign of circumcision as a confirmation he had accepted his faith. So that's the same thing we must do. We must wait on the Holy Spirit until it's done something. Not necessarily because we spoke in tongues, not because we danced or we got emotional, we shouted, until we were changed. Amen. Until something actually happened. I don't care what form it comes in. Just so it happened. That's the main thing. Amen. Now, I believe it's speaking in tongues and all these other things are all right, but it's, that in itself won't work. And you know it won't work. Amen. So it doesn't do it. I've seen witches speak in tongues. Seen wizards speak in tongues and dance in the spirit. <laughs> sure. Lay a pencil down and write in unknown tongues and somebody interpret it. <laughs> That's right. And tell the truth. That's right. Look, this is exactly what happened. And it was just exactly that way. See them throw dust on their head and cut themselves in knives and cover it all with the blood of a wildebeest or something. And, and, and sure. See, and call on the devil. Yeah. So you see, that don't, speaking in tongues doesn't do it. Though I speak with tongue of men and angels and have not charity, it profit me nothing. Amen. See, though I could do it, see. So those things doesn't mean that you have the Holy Spirit. But when He, the person, the, the immortal Spirit of Christ becomes your personal Savior and changes you and throws your views right straight into Calvary into this Word, Amen. something's happened. Amen. Yes, sir. Something has happened. No one will have to tell you about it. You'll know it when it happens.